Hello, my name is Kerry Arth, and today we're just going to have a quick little update on the, well, the video that I made a few days ago about starting that stupid army that you've always wanted to start. The one that doesn't really make any sense, that is not particularly feasible or good on the tabletop, but you just fancy an army of something, something daft. And uh, I've already started on that. I've already made some fairly decent progress on that, um, and, uh, well, you'll see what I've done so far. I'll also say just very quickly, it's very gratifying the number of people who are like, oh, the old Dreadnought thing? It, totally fine. Absolutely fine. I was kind of worried that it was too dumb. I mean, admittedly, mine is all Redemptor specifically, which is kind of silly, but uh, it has been put out. Maybe not as maybe not as completely uh, terrible as perhaps I might have first thought. And, of course, once I have the full set of Redemptors done, the opportunity to branch out into other Dreadnoughts is presenting itself as people are literally sending me lists of all dreadnought armies that actually are kind of a, a, a pretty okay pretty good which makes me very happy because it means my stupid idea maybe wasn't quite that stupid but the thing is it's me somebody came to making a redemptor army there was only real one way it was going to go and that was a uh, kit bashed as much as possible. Now, the two that I have got currently completed, uh, the third one is proving to be a nightmare, I'll explain why in a, in a minute. Um, the two I've got completed, they're not like heavily converted. I will say right now that quite mild, the pair of them. So there is, uh, there's one that has simply just had a little bit of reposing done, only a little bit. They're both easy to build. The first three Redemptors are all easy to build. Um, and uh, yeah, the first one just has a couple of bits from other kits, basically. A little bit of trimming to make the waist move a bit more, like make the torso move more on the waist, a little bit of messing about with the feet to make the pose a little bit more dynamic. Um, a couple of little rocket launchers from the Forge World uh, the Forge World Ironclad Dreadnought, um, which I got on the sculpt, was terrible, so I couldn't do anything with it. I was like, the cast was terrible. I was just like, oh, this is ruined. I can't do anything. Um, I did get another one sent to me, but then I ended up not using it. I started the parts from the one that wasn't great. Luckily, the little rocket launchers that go on the top, they were fine, so I had some of that stuck on. Um, because they need to have the smaller Onslaught Gatling Cannon as well as the heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon, and I don't have any spares to make something like that, I was intending to make each of them a little bit unique in their own way anyway, so this particular Redemptor seems to have some sort of Grey Knight equipment in place of the Heavy Flamer it came with, which of course Primaris Marines, which are the only ones who can go in Redemptors, shouldn't have access to. Which is weird, a little bit strange, a little bit of a, a, little bit of a surprising thing for a Redemptor to have. Obviously, on the tabletop, it's just a Count's House thing. But each one of them has some sort of kind of forgotten past or lost history, which kind of explains the modifications made to them, but not really. It's like a hint thing. It's like, a, okay, that might be why they've had that. So that's what that one's got. The other one that I've got completed, which has been nicknamed God Hand, uh, is <laughs> it's possibly the silliest conversion I've ever done, and I really like it because it's got the fist from an Imperial Knight on it which was actually surprisingly difficult to work out and surprisingly difficult to get on the arm in a satisfactory way, but it's it's on, and I really like it. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm quite happy with that one. Um, there's not really much else different about it. I've taken the power pack off a Centurion uh, because I figured a giant fist might need a little bit more power than is uh, currently provided by the Redemptor power pack. So a little bit of, a little bit of like retrofitting on the go there, which I quite like. Uh, the third one, which is turning out to be a pain, um, it's turning out to be a pain because I thought the first three were only going to have the Heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon because that's what they come with, it's easy to build, trying to change the weapon would be silly, except then I found that I had some, like, massive gorse, gauss, have you pronounce it, um, like, weaponry from, I believe it's a Necron uh, thingy arc, whatever it is, the Command Barge, Catacomb Command Barge, or the other thing that that thing turns into, can't remember off the top of my head, the gun that's slung underneath. I've got one of those for some reason. So I was like, what if this one has a plasma incinerator, but it's actually a bit of Necron tech that's been fitted onto it? That might be fun. So I'm attempting to work out a way of have the Dreadnought hold it like like, like a minigun, effectively. That's why it's taken a long time. But it is fun, and I will make it eventually. I've got various bits lying around that I intend to chop apart to turn into two hands. So I have a second fist. I just need to... Um, do some serious mangling on it to make it so that it's like not a uh, not a right-handed fist but a left-handed fist. No, other way around. A right-handed fist but not a left-handed fist. So it'd take a bit of effort that one, but it'll be worth it because it'll be a redemptive dreadnought holding a giant gorse cannon. 
in both hands, which look badass. So that is where I am at with that list so far. Uh, I need to recalculate how many dreadnoughts I need because of chapter approved. I think the point drop means I might be able to slip another one in there. So rather than nine redemptors and two tech marines, it might be ten redemptors and two tech marines, which uh, is fun for the list, not good for the wallet. So we'll just have to see what happens with that. So yeah, that is where I am at with the Redemptor Dreadnought list. It is still silly, it's still fun, and it's moving on at quite the pace. I intend to get these three painted before I buy the next three. I'm going to do them in threes, that seems like the most sensible way to do it. And uh, yeah, that's where I am with that. However, tonight I'm not doing anything Redemptor-based. Uh, I was going to do a stream during the week for the Custodes conversion into an Empress Children um, chosen, but my I, like I've actually been ill this last week and a bit, maybe two weeks. Like I've had a really sore throat, and it just like talking has been really difficult. Uh, so I haven't been able to do that just because my throat's been really bad the last couple of days. However, however, I still wanted to stream. I want to do that properly because I'm using the stuff from Conversion World and I don't want to be like coughing and spluttering and making a mess of things. So tonight, uh, we're not going to stream Model Assembly, but tonight, now, in fact, I'll be live playing some Rocksmith because I don't have to talk very much for that. I can just sit there, play the guitar, have a drink. So uh, if you wish to join me for some Saturday night music... I'm not necessarily going to say it's good music, played well, but there's definitely music and drink involved, then uh, head over to twitch.tv slash Kiriath right now and I will be live. And uh, there'll be a little thing in the video to say when I will stop being live, because if you're watching this in like five days' time, obviously I won't be. But right now, I am. So yeah, head over there if you would like, twitch.tv slash Kiriath. It'd be nice to see you. And that is where I am with the Redemptor Project. It's moving on a pace and it's daft and I love it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you at the stream or for the next one. In the meantime, feel free to click any of the things, videos, Patreon, subscribe, all that shit. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to, and I will see you for the next one. Toodaloo.